Oh, this is a good fish. Either that or it's a very crappy reel. Go on Amazon, you type in fishing. Do a quick search and there's thousands of companies selling millions of different things and a lot of it comes from brands you've never heard of. So when I received an email a couple of days from a representative of a company called Plusino. Plusino. Plusino? Plusino. I was very skeptical to collaborate with them and to give them what they were asking me to do. Basically, they wanted to send me a product of my choosing and they wanted me to test it out and review it and make a video for you guys talking about and testing that product. Which brings us to right now. What I am concerned about is some of these companies tend to clone other fishing products that other companies that are doing the same thing are making and you end up with this market flood of junk. There's no other way to put it. The question that I'm going to try and answer today is are these cloned and copied Xeroxed fishing tackle items worth you, the consumers, hard earned money? Think of this thing. It's a pretty looking rod. I mean, the look is cool. I, I don't understand why they send you a reel that's orange and a rod that's gold. I feel like you should at least look the same. You can tell that the the bearings are smooth, but it just it feels weird. And like this thing spins for no reason. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. That would annoy me. It, it does annoy me greatly. It'll take some time in your hands. I'm just discovering things as we go. Like that's hollow. I guess you keep a bait in there or something. That's pretty cool. A bait in the butt. Bait butt. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. There's a warning on here that says you can't take it near power lines. <laughs> Oh, the, the combo itself, it was like 40 bucks if I had bought it. The, uh, the line guides are a disaster. They're metal and like not rounded off. They're like squared off. I don't even know what it's made out of. It might be graphite. That would explain the uh, lightning warning. That might be carbon at the bottom. That's aluminum or steel. I can hear the reel squeaking. At least it casts kind of smooth. It's a little more narrow of a spool. 5.2 to 1 gear ratio. Says it holds 160 yards at 10 pound test. It's all plastic. Except the spool. It's kind of weak. But with most combos, right, in our experience, when you buy a combo, they either skimp out on the reel or they skimp out on the rod. So I guess my job is to figure out where they cut the corner. Yeah, to me it looks like they cut both corners. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have you use it too. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, that's a pretty good cast, dude. That's not bad. This rod is not very sensitive. I've really got to give it a good tug to feel something. It's supposed to be a medium, but there's no information on it whatsoever. There's nothing. Even this right here, th this is a sticker, my friend. And this is what I'm talking about, about all these Amazon clone products. That's a sticker. You see that? It's just a, it's just a sticker. It's not even painted on. When, when we talk about cutting corners on, on a combo, it's always the rod or the reel that suffers. And the fact that like the branding on the rod is a sticker. I mean, 
This, this rod right here, Shakespeare. So it's a Walmart rod. Yep. Right. How much correct. did you pay for that? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Yep. Right. And you got you get yourself a little Abu Garcia Silvermax on there. Probably yep. about twenty bucks. Yeah, I think it was a little more, maybe thirty-two. Right. So you got in the same price range is your rod, right? Yes. But even the logo is painted on. Oh yes, it's painted right on there. But it's Shakespeare. It's been around a long time. So my Amazon combo is <laughs> is so generic. And what I feel like happens with with these things is there's one like company in China and they make, you know, five million combos or something and they ship them out to these different companies that then can put their own branding on it. So Bikes. now I feel like I'm not I'm not reviewing a Placino Placino? Yeah, yeah. What is it? It's Placino. Placino, I feel like I'm not even reviewing that combo. I feel like I'm reviewing some unnamed company's combo. And that, that's hard for me to get past because if you don't take enough pride in your product to request paint <laughs> as opposed to a sticker. It I, says everything. It says a lot, but I gotta digress. I have to try and at least catch a fish on it to, to give you guys some sort of... You can catch a fish on it. You can also catch a fish on a stick. <laughs> That's my point. This I'm worried about, like, this whole thing, this has a lot of flex. No, especially the side-to-side -side flex. You get a big fish on there, you're gonna find out real quick where your $40 went. It's really stiff. There's no bend in the in the pole. Yeah, it's like there's no uh, no no flex. Yeah, no. right. No flex. Exactly. Yeah. First of all, my impression is it's very heavy. It's heavy. It is heavy for for a medium. For a medium. So it feels very heavy, especially right in here. The hardware is very very heavy. And then there's this thing. Yeah, that would bug me, but I haven't even noticed it yet, to be honest. You got a fish though. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, you're having better luck than I did. Oh, this is a good fish. Either that or it's a very crappy reel. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, he's coming. Oh, my God. Jared, I need help. That's all right. It's all right. Easy, easy. You're loaded with slop. Hold on. I can't. I don't want to pull too hard. Easy, you caught the weeds. Oh, he's loaded up. Oh. All right, what do we got? I don't know, but I don't want to put any weight. Can you take the, the rod, pull the rod up? Hold, Hold the rod behind me up. Holy <laughs> What the f <laughs> What the <laughs> You got a scale? Holy Yeah. That's a good one. All right, pull that hook and let's go weigh him. We'll zero it out. Grips weigh one ounce. <laughs> Gonna be a 2.2. .2. Really? 2.2. That. It's a beautiful fish. Alright, we're gonna put it back in. Like, wow, this guy's a long guy. Very cheesy. And he's off. All right, so now, what do you think of the rod? The Still, rod and reel. The rod and reel. Well, the reel really, really sucked. I had a hard time, really hard time getting that fish in. Way too hard. 
the pole. If you're looking for a stiff rod, it's a good stiff rod. So would you would you say it feels like a medium or a medium heavy or a heavy? Oh, I would say it feels like a medium heavy. No Definitely shit. on the heavy side, yeah. Yep. So all in all, like the drag, the the bend, all that, would you buy that? Even though you caught a 2.2. No, I wouldn't buy that. No. no. No, I would not buy that pole. Even with a 2.2. So you know, I'm not just bashing it because John's actually the one that caught the, the only fish on it. And it was not e anywhere near a bad fish. No, there was, there was plenty of backbone in the pole. There just wasn't any, any flex in the pole. There wasn't any, the reel was horrible. I've never horrible. seen you go so quickly yeah. to retrieve a fish and not trust the rod right, yeah. to do its job. Yeah, right, yeah. And, yeah. and I think a lot of that too is, is we put mono on those line guides and I'm going to show you a close up of the line guides. They're just kind of metal. There's no inserts. It's not rounded off. It's like a jagged edge yeah. that you're just grinding this, this nylon line against. Yeah. And that's not always what's best yeah. either. Yeah. You so. Can All right. Cool. Now that's the end of my time in the field with this rod and reel. But I want to point out that there is a market for something like this. And I also want to point out there's something I didn't know about it. Like, I had no idea that I could pull this out and actually extend the handle of the rod, which would have made it a lot more comfortable to use. But I didn't find that out until much later. I was already done fishing and I was just kind of playing with it and checking it out. So we, we went over some of the specs in the video and I just want to hit on them really, really quick. It is a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio. It is a tubular graphite composite blank and then the stainless steel frame rings that, that hold it onto the real seat. The whole thing weighs a pound, but it definitely feels more than that and I don't have my scale on me so I can't weigh it. The main gear, I guess, is a bronze alloy main gear. The things that it doesn't go over are like the materials of the ball bearings. I don't know if they're stainless steel ball bearings. I don't know if they're sealed. I don't know anything about them. It does say it's suitable for saltwater use, but it's hard to tell from the description whether they mean the rod or the reel. And the point of this video is to talk about whether or not you should be ordering from brands you've never heard of off Amazon because you can't always trust that five star review and stuff because there's a lot of tactics that go into how companies get their reviews. You will see mine on Amazon if you click the link, if you click the link down below in the description. And I didn't exactly rave about it and I certainly didn't rave about it here. However, there is a market for this if you go fishing twice a month you know and maybe not even that and you don't have the space for a bunch of tackling gear this might be it for you if you want a rod and a reel for under 50 bucks there's other products that i would certainly recommend if you wanted a travel rod y'all know what my favorite is but again if you gotta keep that budget option and i'm choosing to use the word budget here instead of value because i strongly believe you get exactly what you pay for with this setup but if you've never been fishing and want to give it a shot this might be right up your rally for under 50 dollars, you get a rod reel you even get some line with it though i'm not sure that it's enough to actually spool up the entire reel but it just might be able to get you hooked on something my name is jared thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.